Okay, welcome back to this playthrough of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, on NG+, all of that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to say that every time. Um, I did w go ahead and pick up the scimitar. I wanted to... Oh, it's 2.5. Well, that kind of throws a little bit of a nudge in everything. Uh, I want to try and parry a little bit with it. Let's see how the falchion looks. Uh... It has, they have the same sort of parry, these two weapons, but, yeah, I think, like, that's a little bit strange, though. Look at the stamina consumption. Uh, and then if I put on this shield, I mean, it's one, both a 1.5, actually, but this shield seems to cost a lot less stamina to parry with. Like, that just makes, like, this, this type of parry here, uh, I mean, do you recover quicker? Is that why? I don't think so. Why is it so much more... Um, why does it cost so much more stamina then? It's a little shitty. Because the, the parry frames on the falchion and the scimitar are much, much smaller and much, more, much harder to hit properly, you know? You get punished in two ways, essentially. Let's start off by get, killing this pursuer. And... Getting out, opening up like Doof the blacksmith. Probably I, I have to do some weapon infusions. Wait, <clears throat> that attack is hard to carry. Why do you do that again? It didn't blow up, by the way. The barrel didn't blow up. Nope. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I mean, Perry, try to do this on the pursuit is gonna be even worse. Hey, doggies, you guys are susceptible to. Damn it, Greg. Oh, here we go. Fireball! Hurry! It's good. Uh oh. I don't know if that's gonna do too much damage to me, though. <laughs> How does that. <laughs> and they got flattened. Alright. I didn't know that they could blow up the barrels. Maybe he farted. I have no idea. Methane. Um. It was a joke, they, like, no, they can't do that. Alright, this has another branch, right? But I'm gonna have to use this immediately on the... Um, to open up the path to the Sentinels. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, what, what? I need to heal first, though. Let's go Pursuer. Hit me again. Yeah, I, thi I think the parry frames are extremely small. Do that one. I was way too early. <laughs> I See, I've tried to do this before, try to get good with parrying with these things, but... They have to be one of the hardest. The only thing that's harder is to parry without anything, I believe. Without, like, just your hair. Or parrying with, like, ultra great swords. And... Well, I think those are the only two things that are harder. Nope. I won't practice with this enemy then. <clears throat> did I pick up the thing? Yes, I did. Let's get the hollow. Shkata! Or pairing like this is also really difficult. It has like no frames. But you know, these kinds of weapons seems, seem like weapons that you should be able to parry with, you know? Mm -hmm. Relatively easily. And it looks so cool, that's why I want to learn. <laughs> I swear to you. Do it again. No, don't do that one. Lucatil is here again. That's alright. I need this key though. <clears throat> the antiquated key. Uh, I didn't actually attune my spells according, accordingly to this level. I probably don't need things like urine or cast light anymore. You studied nomads in the previous one. That guy's facing this way. That's bad because then he spots me and starts hauling over here. 
and his fire does a lot of damage. Come on, I want to kill him before the big guy gets here and starts doing that BS. Another one? Oh, damn it, Greg. Let's use my great heal excerpt because it's not like I'm right next to a bonfire or anything. This is a decent spell for like invasions, but I find that it's possibly even better to just use med heal and great heal because you get more uses. You only get one of these, even though it's like it's slightly quicker than uh, med heal and great heal. I'll probably, probably leave this thing on infuse, however. Uh, and just... And just infuse like the sly hander and... Maybe something else. Oh yeah, the bloody... There we go. Um, halberd. I have a halberd too. It's pretty cool. Oh, he's not dead. Die. Stay. Light up the place for MacDoof. Oh, both of them? None of you died, really? <laughs> These dogs are like the weirdest bloody hitboxes. Or like they, um... They hit so fast, you know? Sup, MacDoof? You like my attire? <laughs> I don't think he does. Having a great time with his flame. This stuff has like what? Shards and arrows and stuff and bolts. Not bad at all. Tell me that you want the flame. We got a wild one here. Shapo. Right now, you imbecile. Let's rest to have him move. And hopefully those dog bodies can vacate my premises. Thank you very much. I will get a second copy of the Craftsman's Hammer because it's uh, probably a decent thing to power stands, I don't know. Oh, right, infusions. Um, what what do you got? The Spyhander, I can... Hmm, I mean, I'm doing dark for a little bit, but maybe we can go ahead and infuse this with magic and have the longsword be dark. Well, then again, the rapiers are going to be magic. That thing is going to be dark. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm not feeling the Swyhander for now. Infusing it with magic. Lightning? No, because I don't have a buff for that. So I guess it's just gonna be dark. But then... Uh, fire? Fire is pretty cool. Sounds cool. Uh, you know what? F it. <laughs> We're doing it with magic. Um, and then it was this thing with dark. As an innate dark damage. I can't use the bow yet. Okay, let's move along. Flame, dear flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's kill the doggies. And switch to the spy handle. <clears throat> uh, the sentinels, whatever. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. I'll switch to magic weapon here. This one. It only has three uses though. That's a little shitty. But I mean, the crown returns my spells every two minutes, and I have three uses that last. Wait, the, the crown returns my spell every two minutes, and I have three uses like this that last about a minute, so hopefully that's enough. But the crown is essentially a minute behind. No, 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 there's a barrel! Right, to warn you, really only 239? Um, you reckon enemies have less defense, or more defense, I should say, to the dark arts than later new games you go? Because I'm pretty sure that in regular new game, it did more than 239, or, right, it could have been that because he now has more health, it just looks like it's less damage, but he was 239, I have no idea. No, <laughs> there's no way I'm parrying a double one. I, you can't parry these guys. Uh, both of them. 
but I wasn't gonna risk it when they were both doing their strongest attack. Okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's see how we can do this. Does this yearn work on these guys? Let's see. Oh, it does. Whoopsie daisy. Wait, wait. Soon enough they're coming this way, though. That's for damn certain. Heal, damn it! <laughs> Is it over? Are you guys done? I need one of you. I don't want to heal both. Oh my god. Let's go, Royal Swordsman. Chuck, 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 chuck. No, don't do that attack. Run. Listen, I need to get good with these parries. It's easy to parry with the Bokla. God damn it, Greg. Nope. Don't do the hard one, yeah. He, he tends to do that when you're low on health. It's like the game trying to get, get you. <laughs> there we go. I will get the timing down. I will do it. I will do it. Is there anybody else in there? Oh. Okay, it's so hard to do. The Sentinels, I don't believe, have any sort of gimmick to them. So they should be the same as before with just more health. Oh my good god. That was a little bit luck. Listen. It was 10% luck, 20% skill. 15% concentration, power, and will. 5% pleasure. 50% pain. <laughs> and 100% reason. To get absolutely parried. Don't do the hard one. Rah. Oh, I'm not facing him. There we go. Run. Don't do that. <laughs> He's like, you gotta parry me. Try parry this. Delayed attacks in general are a little bit more difficult to parry. <clears throat> or like holding attacks, if that makes sense. Um, in here... Is there an item? No, there's not even an item. I thought there was an item, but no, it's just that summon sign. Um, they can't, I mean, they can't get poisoned, but it's not really that effective. The Craftsman's Hammer I've used against them before, so I'll do this. Against the Sentinels. This weapon is really good. Uh, but we may want to do a little bit more damage rather than better spell uses. <clears throat> Let's cue the music, this song is awesome. Oh my lord. Try to parry, that, that's why I, I was dumbfounded right there, didn't do anything. Let's heal. One, these are one-handed attacks. Come on, please let me parry you. Damn it! <laughs> I was a little bit of a coward there. Not parrying that one because it throws you off the edge. No. Uh, I believe when they attack with both of their hands. Really, that wasn't one? When they attack with both of their hands. Nope. Dude, it's hard. Um, they only attack once, and when they attack with one of their hands. They can attack two or... Can they attack three times? I don't think so. Maybe just two times. Let's rebuff. I'm not parrying these guys now anymore. I suck. Alright? There's no other way to describe it. With a small shield, it would be easy. Honestly, the damage isn't exactly double or two hand. I know it isn't, but like from six something to eight something. Not that big of a difference. He needs to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> 1500! Holy smokes. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll come down to you. I'll stoop down to your level. Oh, I tried that so Damn it, Greg. Hit me. Actually, I need to heal first. Let's just keep topped off. Oh! What you gonna do? Oh! Oh no, we're getting into it now. <laughs> Triple. 
that one I'm not good at, so I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna ruin my win streak. Okay, this. Is it. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it there. No. Song is wicked. Bing. Bing. What you gonna do? This is abuse. Call your local police office. Flipping rice is being abused here. <laughs> I'm abusing rice. I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. I think I've heard somewhere that they're all females as well. Oh, okay, okay. See, now that's not cool. Don't do something that's gonna damage me for like 10,000. <clears throat> Alright, let's finish him off. I don't wanna die. I like to roll to their left. No, my left. Their right. So up here you have Hush and Homeward Bones. Up here you have Target Shield. Uh, somewhere you have Rusted Coin and an Amber Earl. Those are the only things I'm gonna pick up because everything is either duplicate or redundant in like the Homeward Bones. I'm not gonna pick up the Amber Herb either. I don't want it. I probably should. There's some Rouge Water in there. Don't want that either. Those are the bones. Oh, this guy explodes. Are you going to? Go. I don't have that much health. Let's take out this Flutterby. <clears throat> this is a nice place to like fight someone. Oh, you see, this is why throwing knives isn't that great anymore. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was doing more than nine. I think the enemy's defense is increased in NG+. Plus. Not just their health, but also their defense. There's no way that uh, Butterfly only had 194 health in the previous playthrough. And I was able to one-shot with a throwing knife, you see. Uh, should I attune different spells? Like I said, these two are probably not that relevant. Fire Snake... Uh, do, 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 do. I don't like. I don't know. I don't know what would be. That would be wicked. This thing is pretty cool, but on some enemies it works. Uh, but on others it just stuns them. Kind of like a strong attack from a great, great sword, for example. But it doesn't knock them over. I'm pretty sure it doesn't knock like the jailers over or anything like that. So you could use dark orb, fire snake, just cause fire snake is really cool. Talk to the pursuer here. Smoke him up. I'm gonna leave this large club here as well and not bother with it. Hurry, hurry. No! Uh, if I need a second copy of a large club, then again, I will get one in the Ice DLC at plus eight. But power stands in large clubs can be pretty fun too. Or like any large weapons. Don't hit the barrel. I can get one in the DLC. <coughs> I guess he doesn't care. Oh, boom. Let's fight the gargoyles as well. Let's just do it. I did rest as well, so it's fine. Don't, don't move away. Oh, that's not a one bomb, really. <laughs> Priest shine. Don't need that either. When you do NG+, plus, I don't remember if, um, I actually never got this ring. Um, let's get it, I guess. Um, I don't remember if, like, the effigy effect is nullified. No, because I would have had a, a broken, cracked red eye orb icon, wouldn't I? Or maybe it's because I'm in the bellkeeper covenant. Let me just go outside for a little bit and check. I thought there was a nullify, like an effigy effect on the bonfires for 30 minutes every when you t when you took the game to new game plus. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. Hey, I uh, don't know if I can parry those guys. I've tried. Definitely not trying now. 500 damage. It's just one hand. <clears throat> Although these guys are really quick with their little shitty weapons. But you know. Skeptic and Simple to the Spice is something that I want. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use it on this character, though, if I'm going to continue to play with it. Because the way I look at it is that eventually I want to have everything. Like, you know, 
99 in all stats. I'm probably not going to play for that long, but still. Spicing something down uh, is better if you're planning to stop leveling at some point. And since this game is so old, uh, people don't really stop at leveling at any point. They just play for as long as they want. Yeah, look at that. Like, even two of my regular attacks is not quick enough. These guys attack way too fast. I can't follow it up, essentially. Don't hit me! And they also hit like an absolute freight train. Let's go ring the bell. I need my stamina. How about you uh, respect that? They can be parried. But they can be repulsed and didn't see. Okay. Don't keep a shield. I don't think I have that one actually. But like, what is the point then? <laughs> it's kind of like the pursuer. Alright, alright. <clears throat> These guys have bows. Which makes them really difficult. You kind of want to keep them... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I had a shield for some... Yeah. Some reason. Dude, the stamina consumption on this thing... How much stamina do I have? I only have... Th well, 30 is not that bad. <laughs> I sent him into a new dimension. You see that? He flew so far. I don't know. I feel like I'm always out of stamina with this thing. It is huge, though. 12 units. Radiant and Twilight Herb. Oh, boy. Jesus. Skeptic Spikes. Yeah, that's what you don't want them to do. Their bow is definitely their worst oh, thing to fight. It just has a weird, like, hitbox or whatever you want to call it. Like, the way it comes out, how quickly it comes out, pretty ridiculous to deal with. If I'd followed up my attack right there, he would have hit me. Like, that's that's absurd. They recover way too quickly. But, um, I think those enemies are wearing iron flesh, and that's why. That's why the recoveries are so absurd. Because when you yourself were iron flesh, um, you stun for less time. Um, ice ray. <laughs> Ice Ray Pierce. Uh, I guess I could try this. <clears throat> this is a good magic shield, but the gargoyles have like a lightning attack on them, don't they? Uh, oh, they're gonna give me the gold serpent ring thing. That's not bad. I'm not gonna go uber try hard. If I was to do that, then I could totally use the craftsman's hammer. Probably shouldn't have a shield, honestly. That way I can switch between my left hand equipment better easier attack come on this thing does have a little bit of counter damage which is not bad I didn't I didn't see the second one I don't know what it was doing <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure as long as I keep these two like this oh there it goes coming towards me but then this one comes to like that's just what's shitty when they the enemies group together and their roofs are perfectly aligned with each other that's shit that's why you want a weapon that like is going to do as much damage as possible maybe i'll have to switch weapons however the sweet spot and all that but we'll see and poise can also be useful who's next No! <laughs> I hit the other one. No way. No, it's gonna come towards me. You need to go back to the drawing board. Spin to win? Nah, it takes too much time. Now. I like to just keep kiting them. The problem is that eventually we'll start doing the fire attack and there we go, one's down there we like that, they start doing that a lot and it's always the gargles with the lowest amount of health that are staying back and doing that stuff really? stay next to this one good, there we go I'll take the hit, I don't care now there's only two left 
What are you gonna do when both of you get low on health? You got fire, I got fire, buddy. Man, fireball is just the greatest. Fire doesn't tend to be the most damaging thing ever, but man, for some reason it's just it's such an easy spell to use on this low fireball. Oh, they, <laughs> they both died. Okay, there you go. Gargoyle Soul, Covetous, Gold Serpent Ring. Wicked. That gives you better drops. There are some doggies down here. <clears throat> there were some doggies down here. That chest just has to summon Ritual Band. This thing, this thing I pretty much never take off. I get the plus two from uh, the Scorpion is not. Let's do this part down here. Uh, I will put on some slightly heavier armor. I could use the Seed of the Tree of Giants, but honestly, I think I'd like to save that for a more tough in encounter. Like with a, probably with an actual player, perhaps. But yeah, you can, uh, you can just go halfway or like three quarters down the stair or something, wait for the invader to spawn and go back up. You don't even need to touch the grass too much. <coughs> Poise is for the... so that I don't get staggered. Oops, that is a jumping attack. Oh, I'm <laughs> fat rolling. Uh, let's just do that. Oh, yes! <laughs> Even though that's kind of like a forced parry. In, uh, in NGs, NG pluses, I think your backstab and repost damage is ridiculously improved, so... Maybe that's what that was. 2400 seems a little bit ridiculous for this weapon. Dragon Tooth, Petrifier, Bright Bug, we can... Alright, I think I'll do, uh, the next part of the Basti in the next episode. Let me just go and, and level up with Majula. And put on some clothing, of course. I just... I've tried some other armors. But here's the thing, I've, uh, I don't know if I explained this. <clears throat> I guess I can show it off in Majula. Uh, I want to wear the Crown of the Old Iron King and I want to wear the Engraved Gauntlet. Those are the two things that like, I like want to wear as far as like the four pieces. And then with those two things, I sort of feel like the, the Robes of Judgment and the Luelin Boots look the best. Um... Uh, because as far as like, those are the only things I have as an option. This and that. Because these two things here, I want to wear them, no matter what. And then, so I, so I try to make my looks uh, around that. And these two things, I haven't found anything that looks better, like to me personally. This is like, it's all right, but I just feel like the robes look better. Uh, I just think the robes fit so very well with the crown, you know? And the Llewellyn boots as well. Like these look all right, but it's just, the shade of black is, is a little bit better, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just prefer this. Let's level up with the Emerald Herald. Do you have any souls? Nothing in particular. There I haven't discovered Strayed yet, so I can't give him souls to anything. <laughs> Force a habit, okay. Uh, let's see. Dex is 25. That does allow me to use a few things here. I could go with higher ADP, because eventually I will need that. That is for damn certain. Although, mm, 105 is probably what I'm gonna settle that though let's do that let's do these two things here yeah let's do that thanks for watching this one hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>